Hello guys, I'm Rodrigo. I'm back here again to do our third lesson, micro lesson of SEO after the success of our second one. So here I'm going to talk quickly about technical issues that you may have with your website. So if you have a web designer, webmaster that is working on a website, you should ask him to take a look on this and take care about this. If you are this professional, you should really care about it. Uh, so this is maybe the first thing to do when you build a website, you have to take care about this, the code of a website. It should be very well coded, No, have no issues with the HTML and CSS, JavaScript, PHP or whatever, because this already Google put it down your website when you have issues, okay? The other thing is the way you use the H1, H2, the titles, okay? H3, H4, you should use them. H1, it's in every page, you just have one, it's the title of the page, then subtitles H2, then if you have another title, H3 and H4, and then you go on until H7, mm, H6. <laughs> so take care and use this. If you don't know if your website has this, please ask your web designer, ask if he's using this uh, in the right way. Okay, because Google can use this really to know where is the title of a web page and the other stuff. You have also another kind of tags of HTML that you should care is that you can use now semantic HTML. Also, this you have to ask web designer. You can use uh, the tag article, tag section, tag nav for the navigation of a website. Uh, uh, you should have the title tag in the header, you should put the description, meta description tag also in the header. So all these you have to really care about and ask your web designer, are you doing this? Do we have this in our website? Is this right? Can we do it better? Uh, can we improve it? Okay. The code, it's very, very important that it should be done because Google can, for example, see the navigation of a website if the code is, is right coded, then he's going to, to when someone search for it, he's going to see the title and then the, the, the navigation already down, okay? This is very, very important. Also this, uh, Google now is, is like choosing topics that they answer for questions. So if you have a blog or something like this where you answer for questions or write about re really precise topics, he, he can also put this in first place there the highlighted and there is no way to really do it it's just the way you write and you also have the HTML coded okay it's not a microdata it's really uh, if the, the answer it uh, can be like seen by Google with the question and it's related so really code it well the other thing is mobile version it's also part of the web designer job you should really have the mobile version on a website. Google now asks for a mobile version. They, if you don't have, they are going to do one for you, which is not very nice for the moment. I have to say the way they are adapting the pages, and this is it's like a requirement for Google. Okay, the other uh, thing that you may have is the page speed of your website. You can check this on page speeds insights of Google, but it's also very nice if you run a page test, a uh, speed test on. Uh, GT Matrix, for example, where there you can see if you have the catching tools right, if the pictures there are not too big, they can be compressed. If you're doing gzip com uh, uh, G -zip compression, and uh, uh, the, the um, how the files they are loaded, the CSS, the JavaScript, and everything, if you have too much, all this also Google take this page speed and say the, this website is very low. In the end of the list this website works very fast very nice okay so should take care also um, the amount of stuff you put in the same page okay don't load the page with a lot of pictures heavy movies and stuff having a very beautiful inter interactive website can be interested but a lot of users now they use mobile they don't have always a good connection and you can really lo lose clients if you do too much on your website beautiful doesn't mean useful and for Google, what's important is the information, not all, not all the stuff you can put to make it beautiful, okay? So these are some lines you should take care. If you cannot, you should ask someone and ask him to more or less show you what has been done or not. But it's very important to take care about each one of those. The code, the page speed, and also if the code is semantic or not, okay? And like this already, you have better results. 
do the first two steps, do this one, then I'm going to talk in the next lesson probably about microdata. It's another step you can do to show Google in a different way your uh, information, okay, your page. And, and so if you have any questions, please let here in the comments. If you like this micro lessons, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to share with your colleagues or someone that works with you, also share this video, please. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more new videos. I see you in the next micro lesson. Bye!